Star ratings are garbage, and it's a problem that's reached epic proportions. Apps ask you to award stars to your driver, your TV show, your delivery guy, your duct tape, your favorite frozen dessert. But few of those ratings are actually very helpful to us. Just ask Netflix. This week, it's replacing the five star rating system with thumbs up and thumbs down, like dating apps. Why are star ratings so useless? It starts with grade inflation. This gelato, it got four stars on Yelp, which sounds great, but it's actually only so-so. More than half of the rated gelato sellers in San Francisco have scores of 4.5 or five stars. Three stars should be average, right? But that's almost never the case. Yelp's average tends to be closer to 3.8, and 46% of its reviews have five stars. On shopping sites, the average is closer to 4.3 stars. It's basically our fault. Every once in a while, we have a truly terrible experience and give something one or two stars. But most of the time, we're far too nice. It gets worse when there's social pressure. How do we fix this? Every app is different, which is why the five-star system is stupid to begin with. Netflix says switching to thumbs up and thumbs down encouraged a lot more participation and better data. Though it may not work for every app out there, they all can learn from Netflix, which uses your past experiences to make personalized recommendations for more positive future ones. Since you're still stuck with stars in most cases, do your part to make them less crappy. Number one, eyeball the whole range of reviews and then grade on a curve. Number two, check out the total number of reviews. Sometimes that's the best indicator of quality. And the most helpful part of most reviews is the actual written text. That's where you discover why some people found this four-star gelato truly below average.